My coverage of Computex 2017 is brought to you by MSI, EVGA, Tesoro, G-Skill, and Cooler Master. Guys, I'm here at Tesoro, and uh, they have a wide range of peripherals. We're going to talk about some gaming chairs, some mice, some keyboards, and a pretty nice set of earbuds as well. Let's start out with the chairs. So over here on the right, uh, the red and white trimmed chairs are the Tesoro Zone series. And uh, these have actually been around for a little while, but Tesoro has been working on uh, updating them and making them a little bit more suited to the needs of the customers based on a lot of feedback they've gotten. Uh, but they of course have typical stuff you would expect from a gaming chair. Tesoro told us directly they're not trying to reinvent the wheel here or the chair or anything like that. They're just trying to provide a, a nice quality product that you can get and sit in for many, many hours at a time. I like that they have a nice wide seat rest right there. Um, and in fact, they've even made it a little bit more wide on the, the new version I'm going to show you in just a second. But uh, you got the head support, lumbar support, and uh, you also have an incredibly deep <laughs> adjustable back angle so you can drop it all the way back. Class 4 gas lift, so depending on uh, your weight, you can still raise or lower the seats. Uh, here's the new one, and this is the Zone Evolution. So this one, they've uh, taken some feedback from people who have used the existing chairs, and they have uh, added memory foam in the uh, lumbar support, as well as the pillow up at the top. These have a faux leather finish. It's polyurethane, so no cows were harmed in the making of these chairs, so that's nice. Uh, it's also going to be nice and breathable. And again, this one uh, has all the adjustments that I like in a chair, which is that uh, the armrests can go up or down, forward or back. Uh, and then, of course, you can lay it all the way back, as I'm hopefully demonstrating right here. Uh, don't worry, I was able to recover from this very uncomfortable position. Uh, finally, they have also uh, increased the heights of the gasket down at the bottom so that you can actually raise it up to a greater height than you had before. So if you're a little bit taller, then you do have support for the length of your legs, I suppose. Here's the Tesoro mice. Uh, we got the Ascalon, the Shurer, and the Sagita. Sagita. I hope I'm trying to pronounce all these correctly. Uh, so basically got MSRPs of $60, $40, and $70. The Sagita is the highest end. On the Ascalon over here, which features a 6400 DPI sensor and 100 hertz polling rate, got some additional buttons scattered around so you can uh, you can reassign the buttons, I would imagine. Yeah. Okay, you can reassign those. It's got a 32-bit ARM Cortex processor inside as well as some onboard memory. So uh, if you're reprogramming stuff, it can save it to the mouse. Uh, they've also redone the finish on this. So this is a mouse that has been available for a while. But they gave it a little bit more of a the, kind of the, the dry touch finish, as I like to call it on there, which uh, is pretty nice. That was a switch over from uh, the Sharur over here, um, which has previously been available in white and black. Although they've kind of combined the white and black together. So you got kind of a kind of a piano looking looking finish on here. So glossy finish on this one. You do have some RGB lights on there that you can adjust on the scroll wheel up at the top, as well as a Tesoro logo at the back. Uh, adjustable up to 4,000 DPI on the sensor here. This one again has a retail price of about 40 bucks. And then moving down to the Segita uh, Spectrum down here, 5,000 DPI sensor on this one. This one has a nice ergonomic feel, forward and back button on the uh, left side. Again, sort of that dry touch finish on the top and a bit more of a glossy piano finish on the sides. Nice feeling scroll wheel though, it's rubberized. Feels, feels pretty good. Uh, and then of course, button on top, which uh, you can assign for DPI switching. Uh, acceleration up to 30 grams and a antimicrobial soft touch, touch finish, if you want the official word. I just call it dry touch. Because it feels dry, it doesn't feel wet. That, that's probably not good marketing though, but don't worry about it. All right, let's talk about the uh, keyboards we got over here, the Durandal uh, Spectrum right here. This, is, this one uses uh, genuine Cherry MX switches. And uh, the retail price on this one is 129 so it's available in Cherry MX Blue switches, and as you can see, it also in, has uh, individual per-key backlighting. Again, a 32-bit ARM Cortex processor integrated in there. Uh, all the stuff you would expect from a high-end keyboard. Uh, this one retails for $129, by the way. Uh, so yeah, you can customize everything. And uh, one thing that I like that uh, Tesoro has done with a uh, wide, uh, with most of the keyboards that we're going to look at today, is they actually have pass-through. So you got a USB uh, pass-through in the back, as well as mic and headphone. Uh, and that is controlled just by the single uh, connection cable that you get coming from the top. So there's that one. Let's move on down the line to uh, the Tizona Spectrum. Again, we have RGB backlighting on this one. This one's going to use kale switches, so uh, the price is a little bit less. This one actually comes with a separate numpad. So uh, you can buy just the 10 keyless keyboard by itself for $89. For an extra 40 bucks, you can get the numpad to drop on the end. Uh, and then that has a USB uh, that you can actually swap to either side. So if you want to position the keypad on the right side of the keyboard, you can. Or if you want to move it over to the left side of the keyboard, you can do that as well. 
Next we've got the Gram Spectrum, and this is another keyboard that uh, is, it's been out for a little while, um, but this one has low profile key switches on it. So uh, they are still compatible. I should mention that, uh, of course, the Cherry MX switches down there are compatible with Cherry MX keycaps. The Zona also has Kale switches, but it has the same uh, posts that you can use uh, standard Cherry keycaps with as well. And then the Gram Spectrum does have that capability, but again, they're low profile keycaps, so you're gonna need a low profile keycap set uh, to, to do that properly. Um, it's got the Tesoro Agile Mechanical Switches. So this is a uh, switches that Tesoro has actually been developing themselves. So I've been testing these out and they actually, they actually feel pretty nice. Uh, they're available in a couple options, blue and red. So whether you want clickiness or non-clickiness, these are the non-clicky versions that I'm looking at right now. Uh, and then again, of course, the customizable backlighting 16.8 million color RGB. Uh, the Gram Spectrum also is very small, like it's very thin. So uh, the profile from the side, you can see you know, if you need to take this on the go, drop it in a backpack or something like that, uh, totally easy to do. So a uh, little bit more portable, I, I guess you might say, in that one. Now here is the new keyboard that Tesoro is currently developing. This is the Gram SE Spectrum Special Edition. This one actually has uh, unique new switches. They're actually optical switches. Uh, so they use infrared to actually detect each keystroke. Uh, again, of course, 16.8 million RGB per key, customizable backlighting and key rollover, all that good stuff. Um, but I really, I really like the feel of these. You know, they're not, they're not your traditional cherry switches or whatever, but they've been working on the touch uh, on these and everything uh, just to get them perfect. And you know, I just want to write a novel right now, just, just typing on this. All right, I, I should probably stop that. Uh, both the, the Gram Spectrum over here as well as the Gram Spec, uh, Spectrum SE both have detachable cables. Uh, it's the mini uh, USB cable on that, which is a little bit more durable than the micro uh, USB in my uh, experience. The Gram SE Spectrum is going to be available soon. We're expecting this in about the July time frame. Do we have a, do we have a price for it yet? 119? That's, that's a pretty nice deal for an RGB backlit mechanical switch keyboard. It's a very nice feel. But uh, this one over here doesn't have a name, but basically they're going for something a little bit more akin, like it, you would expect these to be scissor switches, just looking at them, because they're so low profile, but they are actually clicky and mechanical. And again, like this is the second or third keyboard on this trip that I've tried out that I thought was just a, a little scissor switch board, but it's actually mechanical switches. And uh, they don't, th this is developing, they're expecting to launch it about Q4 timeframe. Um, so they need a name for it. So what do you guys think? Nice, thin keyboard, uh, RGB backlighting, mechanical, low profile switches. Uh, it's gonna be part of the Gram series. So guys in the comments, let Tesoro know what they should name this keyboard. And they said they'll pay you 10% of the profits. I just made that up. I, I, I lied about the profits thing. Mm -hmm. Where's Anthony going? Oh, hello. Anthony's here. Hi, Anthony. Hello, Paul. Okay. Hello. Let's move on. I'm super, <laughs> I'm super boring. <laughs> Finally, we have the Tesoro Tuned, and these are available right now. Uh, these are in-ear pro audio solution. They're costing about $35. And um, they have a couple just kind of very sensible features for like in-ear uh, devices like this. I mean, not only are they very inexpensive, but uh, they've designed them so that they have uh, a very, they have a textured grip on the outside, so they're easy to get a hold of. They've made sort of an intelligent design with these little handles on the bottom, so when you pick them up, you can just intuitively uh, feel which way is left and which way is right. And they, they put magnets on the back, so they kind of pop together. So uh, you're going to have a, at least a little bit less possibility of your uh, cables getting all cluttered up and then you can wind it all up and then it comes with a nice little Tesoro case to put them all into. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for my coverage here at the Tesoro booth or suite. I don't know. It's a room. It's, base, it's a cozy corner room, actually, is what this room is called. Uh, but thank you guys for watching my uh, content from Computex 2017. A huge thank you, of, of course, again to my sponsors for this trip. Tesoro, of course, as well as EVGA, MSI, G-Skill, and Cooler Master. Stay tuned for more content coming at you soon. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you soon.